In the last video, we talked about negating field axioms and how you can prove that something is failing some specific axiom. In this video, I want to uh, show you some consequences of field axioms, and I will not be spending time proving them, but I will still talk about them, and these will be our lemmas for fields. Now, one specific change that I want to institute from, from this video on is that if, I, if, if you see me say, well, x and y, this this is equivalent to me saying x times y. I don't want to waste time or space uh, putting the dot. I hope you are used to seeing these two variables being multiplied in, in this specific uh, manner. So let's actually get started and let me show you one of the first consequences of a field. So we are we will call this our lemma and we will since it's the first one in fields, we will call it lemma f1. So the first one, the, the the first. So let me use green here for. So the first one, a the the first uh, thing that we have to that we will learn about this is that let so let f be a field. Let f be a field. Then if I was to take an element from from the field and if i was to add 0 to it i would still get x this applies for all x's which are living within the field so just to be clear everything that i will be writing all this lemma applies to some set that has been uh, you know tested for being a field and it has successfully you know uh, completed all nine axioms now, if and only if some some set um, is successfully, you know, has successfully completed all nine axioms, only then can you, you know, you know, talk about these implications. These were derivatives. Don't confuse them with the other ones. The d over dy. Please don't. We will not be talking about those in in this. Uh, in, in this series. So th this is a, basically a continuation of those axioms, but these are not essential because you can derive these from from the, the, the original nine axioms. I will quickly talk about that at the end. So B, our second property. So you can think about these as properties, as many as many properties. So I'm just going to give you all the letters so I have to, so I don't have to uh, change the color every time I want to write uh, my properties. So uh, the second one is if I was to take the negative x and was to add it to x. So this is a this is an axiom. You don't need to you don't really need to worry about this. This is just for formality. This is one of the nine one of the nine axioms, and this is another one right off the the axioms that we talked about last time. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you can go back and watch my video on on the on the on the nine well on the field axioms. So this is also this is also the same. So why am I rewriting this? Why are these not the same as fee, uh, the field axioms? I'm switching the order. If you remember in the in in the field axioms I was saying that if you were to add x plus negative x, then we would get zero. And I said, if you, this is almost identical to what I said in the in the, in the axioms. And this has been switched for order just to show you that it's the same thing. So the, the one. So this is what I wrote for the field for the field axioms. But I'm just switching the order in in B and D to show you to show you that. You know, it still works. And the last one is a right-handed distributivity. So if I was to take two elements and add them and multiply another element from the right side, then this will be equal to uh, x times z and y times z, y times z for all for all x, y, and z, which are elements of the of the field. And if you if you, if you are confused why this is not one of the axioms in the in the, in the, in the axioms i talked about something like this if i had something on the left side this is on the right side if if in the, in the, in the axioms if something was on the left side and if i was to add 
two elements and you distribute the, the, the x throughout in both uh, terms and then you would have x times y and this would be added to x times z so all these are very easy and i'm not going to spend time proving them because the the, the, the proofs are directly um you know just commutativity or yeah additive commutativity multiplicative commutativity additive neutral additive inverse multiplicative neutral multiplicative identity and distributivity you could just use the axioms to to prove any of these we we didn't really explicitly write any of these down because they are pretty pretty simple pretty you know common sense they're pretty trivial if i was to use the word trivial now you have to note something here is that if if you want to prove something you can't just start with what you want to prove Okay, you can't, you can't just, let's say, I think this is worthwhile noting, I see several YouTube videos on, let me, th th this is what I see on, on the, on the YouTube, on the YouTube. So on YouTube, this is what I see. Some, some smart high school kid says, whoa, is one equal to two? Well, if I was to, if I was to multiply zero here, and if I was to multiply zero here, well, then the zero will be equal to zero. So by the logic of a high school student, I have just proven to you that, well, one is equal to two. However, this is wrong. This is completely wrong. If you want to prove for some reason you doubt that one is not equal to two you can't you can't start with what you want to prove this individual started with their their proof one equals two, two one equals two two you can't start with this you have to start with zero and 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 well not specifically zero but you have to start with something that is not what you want to eventually prove you need to have some sort of if then kind of situation or uh if or if and only if situation in in um, in this case you would have to show that whatever you have here is a subset of this thing and whatever you and and then the second portion of the proof will be that you, whatever you have here will is a subset of this and if you don't know what i'm talking about you should go back to the logic videos that i did and i think i talked about the proof strategies uh in one of those in one of those videos the second lemma that I want to give you, so that we don't have to we don't have to waste time proving proving these these properties, is our lemma of fields. So lemma F two, F two. So in this, in in this, let F be a field. Let F. We always have to say this because. The, you have to think um, like some sort of alien. You don't know what F is. You can't just assume that, you know, F is for a field. You have to be specific in mathematics. So let F be a field, a field. So I'm just going to write down in the similar, in a, in a similar structure as before so that you, you're hundred percent clear so the first one that i want to give is that if we were to take you know zero and we were to multiply this so okay so if i was zero and then multiply this you know with x then we would get zero for all x's which are in the field now if i was to take you know it, negative x is the same thing as me saying negative one times x for all given x in the in the field the third one is that if I was to take a negative, okay, a negative of a negative of, of an x, that will be equal to x. So everything that I am saying here, you can just assume because these, anything that we have proven, proofs, and any lemmas and theorems that I cover in this, you can just assume for later proofs that we will be doing in the course. You don't need to go proving that commutativity works when you are trying to prove a Riemann sums or, or Taylor uh, series. That, that, that would be a huge waste of time. So uh, the last one here is that if I was to take negative one and if I was to square this, it will be equal to one for all, for all x's. So I think I think just for fun, let me let me show you the proof of the first one. Let me show you the proof of A. So 
this is a proof of part A. So what you want to show is that the left hand side is the same is the same as what as the right hand side so here you have a you have a choice either you start with the left hand side or you can start with that right with the right hand side so this is how you do it i'm gonna start i will start with with uh with the with a mixture actually so i'm gonna actually start with the left hand side and i'm gonna stop and then i'm gonna start with the left hand side so you might be confused uh, that what did I just say? So I start with the left hand side and I say, well, zero times x, what is this equal to? Well, we know that zero is the same thing as me saying zero plus zero. So I could just put this in brackets and I could say zero plus zero, you know, because it's still zero, then this would be equal to x. Now we use uh, this property that I gave at the start, uh, the right-handed distributivity to, to distribute uh, the x inside of the brackets. So we, we, so we will say, well, 0 uh, x plus 0 x. What I basically did is I just distributed the x. And we can actually remove the brackets. So we will have 0 x plus 0 x. Now, we stop here and now I work with the right, right hand side, right hand side. So I start with zero. We know what zero is. Zero, we, this is one of the axioms. If I was to take, if I was to take some sort of A, so for all A, there exists an A, uh, so sorry, a minus A such that if I was to add them, a plus minus a, I would get our uh, identity, additive identity, which is zero. We know that this is true, so we can just, you know, say that that's what this is. So let's choose our a, let's choose a convenient a. Let me make a zero x. So the a inverse, so sorry, I keep thinking about multiplicative inverse, the negative a will be minus zero x. So zero can be received by me just saying zero x plus minus so actually let me do it without the brackets to make it extremely clear zero x plus minus zero x this will give you zero so um this we we know will be the same as me saying what we we talked about this this okay let me use green we know that 0x is equal to 0x plus 0x so what i will do now is i will replace this 0x 0x with this stuff so what i'm doing is well okay that stuff so it, it will be 0x plus 0x and and then it's just plus minus 0x. Now, uh, through associativity, we know that this will be, if you haven't watched my video on generalized uh, commutativity and associativity, I, I will just be using that here. And since we did uh, the field axioms, we know that this is the same thing as me saying 0x plus, and, and then I put a bracket here and a bracket there at the, at the end. So it it, w it will be uh, 0x minus 0 minus 0x. Now, <clears throat> we talked about this and we and we looked at what what will happen if you were to take some element and just subtract. Well, we talked about subtraction. If you if, if you haven't watched the video, I told you that there is no such thing as subtraction. It's just addition with negative numbers. So 0x minus 0x is the same thing as me saying 0x plus negative 0x. However, this looks awfully similar to what I was talking about here. Here. So if you were to do this, you would just get what? 0. You would get a 0. You would get a 0. And we keep the, the, the other thing right here. So 0x plus 0. Now you may recall one of the axioms was that it's, it's called additive neutral, that it, if you have some sort of element and if you add a zero to it you will not change its value so 0x plus 0 has to be equivalent this this has to be 
equivalent to what? 0, x. Now, if you look at both sides of our equation, which is this, this side, and this end portion, look at what we have just proven. We have just proven that 0 is indeed equal to 0x. So this video was just supposed to show you that you can take axioms and you can prove some other simpler properties of fields. And all this is basically leading up to the reals. This, the, I, I spent this amount of work to show you that you can basically derive any properties that you just took for granted in high school and you can just prove them with the nine axioms of fields. So I hope this video was helpful and before we before I end it <clears throat> I'm going to put a Q ED to show that my proof has ended. And once again I hope this video was helpful.